Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do an all-time favorite beef and broccoli stir-fry with oyster sauce. And this is really fast, so pay attention. So we've, we've got our rice already made so that uh, we'll have something to uh, have on top of that. Also with stir-frying, we, we preheat our wok because we want our wok to be, to be hot. And we're gonna make sure that all the ingredients are ready to go before we put anything in. So let's go over our ingredients. So we're going to be flavoring our oil with some fresh garlic. And what we'll do is we'll just use our cleaver and bruise those up just like that. And then we'll just so what's nice about this is that we'll have these nice pieces of garlic that we're going to brown, but because we smashed it, we're really releasing a lot of the oils and flavors. So there you go. I put three good sized ones in for this. If you want more, add another one. If you are sensitive to garlic, you can Put in a little less. What I'm doing now is I am preparing the ginger. So this is fresh ginger and I've cut it so that the grain is really short so that when I hit it with the side of my cleaver you're going to see that it just kind of breaks apart. See? Just like that. And then I'll just And again, just like the garlic, we'll have some very nice pieces of ginger, but because we've crushed it, we've really released a lot of the flavor. There's no oil in this like there is in the garlic. This is more water base. So we'll just So that, that's ready, and um, we'll be adding some diced onions and some mushrooms. You can use our regular white mushrooms, that's what we have here, or if you like portobellas or wild mushrooms, you could do that. We have broccoli, just cut up, and we have some sweet red peppers. And if you want to mix in some green ones for color, that's great. But we have green broccoli and we have sirloin strip today. And what I like about sirloin strip is you can see that it has marbled fat in it. There's no big chunks of fat, but because it's marbled, that fat will melt. And fat, as you know, is an acronym for flavor and taste. And that fat will break up and it will melt and add flavor to the meat. And what I'm doing is I am cutting the sirloin strip across the grain so that it's got very short grain and that will make it tender. There we go, bite-sized pieces. All right. So we are just about ready to go here. The wok is all heated up, my spatula, and I'm going to add just about a tablespoon of oil. And I like this avocado oil because it's very, very um, robust, in, not in its flavor, but it can handle uh, very high heat. So this will get up to about 500 degrees before it smokes. So what we'll do is we'll put this in and then we're going to put in our flavoring, which will be our, our um, aromatics, which are the ginger and the garlic. And we'll put in some onion in there as well to, uh, to brown up. So about a tablespoon, doesn't take a lot. And then as soon as it starts to what we call shimmer, 
it's ready to go. So here we go. It's gonna sizzle right away. That smells great. And now we're gonna put in our onion. And we'll just mix that in. You can hear that sizzling. That sizzling is what stir fry is. So we want to make sure that we maintain that sizzle. Let me just turn on the fan here. So we don't set any fire alarms off. Here we go. All right. So we'll let that go for about a minute. And that's nice and hot. So people get a little bit worried, especially with garlic. They don't want to burn the garlic. But you'll notice what I've done is I've put in that onion and the ginger in with the garlic. And both of those have a lot of water in them, which will keep that oil from burning in the garlic. So that's nice. All right, so the next thing we'll put in is we're going to put in our mushrooms. We'll put in some mushrooms. All right. And uh, we, I turned this heat up to high. And as those mushrooms are stir frying, we'll get our meat ready. So you'll notice the stir frying process is a, technically it's a very dry process. You can see I haven't added any liquids at this point. And there's just a little sheen of oil that's on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my meat right into the hottest part of the wok. Put that right down in there. And see with the shape of the wok, you can push everything else aside. Again, we're maintaining that very high sizzle. And so what I'm doing now is I am, the center of the, hot is the, of the wok is the hottest. So what I can do is I can start pushing from the sides back into the center. And you can see that steak cooks very, very quickly. In less than a minute. That steak is ready. So, what we'll do now is we'd like to soften up our broccoli. So, let's put that in. And there's been some juices now that are coming out of the meat. Love that high sizzle. And this is a cast iron wok, so it really maintains that heat very well. All right, and you can see the, the, the uh, broccoli turns bright green very quickly. And that's because of the uh, juices from the meat. And there's also, there's a, still the oil that's in there. That's kind of coating everything. All right. So the last thing we'll add, remember everything else is still cooking. So the last thing we'll add will be our peppers. We don't want the peppers to get soggy, but we do want them to take on some of that flavor. kind of pretty too. Keeping that sizzle. So
so once the stir frying process is just about done, what we'll want to do is we'll add our, our liquid at this point. And uh, this is going to be the oyster sauce, but we're going to add some other flavorings as well. So we're going to add three parts of soy sauce. And this is going to stop the sizzling because now we've got liquid. I'm going to use some rice wine. This is Shaoxing wine. Just one part of that, one tablespoon. And about a quarter cup of our oyster sauce. So our stir frying is just about finished here. And what we're doing now is we're just flavoring that stir fry. If we had tried to stir fry with all this liquid, everything would be just soggy, which wouldn't be very good at all. But what this does is this will give it a nice glaze. And the last thing I'll put in is I'm going to cut up some scallions. I'm going to use a different knife here that doesn't have meat juice on it. So we'll just cut this up into half inch slices diagonally. These are great. These are fresh from the garden. These are grown from uh, roots that were left over from previous bunches of scallions that we've used. There we go. What I like to do is I'll take those scallions that I've sliced up and I'll just bruise them a little bit as I put them in. We'll just turn that heat off. Give this one more stir. So let's try this out. Here's our rice, steamed up nicely. Broccoli, oyster sauce. So let's have a taste here. Beef is nice and tender. Mm. Broccoli. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.